Three people, including a woman, became trapped when flames broke out in the triple-decker overnight. Sadly, one person did not make it out. Nick Emmons is in Revere tonight with more on this tragedy that could have been even worse. When the fire broke out around 2 o'clock this morning, three people became trapped inside. Two managed to escape, but sadly, one did not. We have a three-story, 50 by 150 wood frame building. Heavy fire. The early morning fire tore through this Revere triple decker. The fast moving flames so intense, three people became trapped inside. It was too scary. Very scary. This man says a young girl climbed out of a second floor window onto this overhang and jumped to neighbors below. It was that little young girl that she just wanted to jump. And they tried to say, no, don't jump. We're going to try to help you. Plus, she was, I think, a little bit burnt on the face. Firefighters say the person who jumped was taken to the hospital with injuries. While everyone in the building was eventually accounted for, sadly, one person never made it out. Uh, we believe the person may have been deceased prior to our arrival. When firefighters entered the room where the third person was located, uh, it appeared that the room had flashed over. Every item within the room had been on fire. Flowers have been left on the porch of the gutted building, which is now encased in ice after an hours long firefight. Alejandra Sepulveda lives next door and ran out of her home, fearing the fire would spread. And I saw in the windows from my kitchen, and I saw the fire in the building. She's now devastated for her neighbors after a tragedy that forced 34 people out of their homes so close to the holidays. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, so terrible. And officials have not yet released the victim's identity. The cause of the fire is under investigation. In Revere, I'm Nick Emmons, WBZ News.